Hey guys, I got some feedback that I should show the little cheesy face in the lower right hand corner. Uh, so here I am, I'm Rob. Uh, welcome to my lab, my car. Uh, yes, I have an office at home, I'm not homeless, uh, just I also have a three and a half year old. So a lot quieter. So let's look at Grunt some more. Uh, I'm in this empty directory and we're going to continue using the Grunt file template because it's sort of the most minimal and we can kind of examine things in isolation that way. So we're going to say yes, it's involving the DOM. Yes, we'll concat in minify file. Actually, we'll say no to this because we're going to look at uh, JS hint and linting. Um, and we'll say no to the package package JSON file. Um, so now we've got our little grunt file. Um, let's actually go in there and have a look. And this time, well, it still gave us a QUnit test. Let's uh, quickly delete all the QUnit stuff because uh, we're not going to be looking at that. We're mainly going to be looking just at the, the lint um, stuff. So lint is um, associated with JS hint and basically it's a sort of code quality control static analysis thing that uh, basically scans your files and makes sure that your syntax and what you've put in there uh, abides by certain rules. And if we look over here we have our familiar um, init config and it takes an object literal, as we can see here. And we sort of strip this down to, actually, let's even just get rid of the watch task for now so we can fit it all on one screen. We've got a lint task and a JS hint um, task, although this is really more of a configuration here. And these options are the options you'll see um, if using JS hint best way for me to describe this is to show the page, which I don't have open. Um, let's see if I've got a connection here, otherwise we'll be screwed a bit. Oh, looks like I do. Okay, great. So if I go to the documentation here, um, it's just the JS hint docs that I selected from Google. Um, you can see that there's a number of ways to, um, to kick in JS hint. So JS hint will give you it'll it'll basically complain when you break rules, um, and so there's certain things that you don't want it to complain on. So you can configure that. So like if I use window or um, certain things in my file, and I know I I do that, and I I don't want JS hint to complain, I can configure it, and I can also do the opposite and say hey anytime I uh, do something like eval, make sure you complain. So anyway, you can put these comments at the top of your file like this. Um, and these are examples. You can look at this documentation yourself. But um, in this grunt file, we're doing it here in this JS hint options property. So for example, um, equals 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 true. What that means, if we look here at the documentation, it prohibits the use of using two equals and not equals in favor of triple equals and not equal equal. The former will try to co coerce values before comparing them, which can lead to some unexpected results. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to have that true here, the way it's set. So that means if we try to do double equals in one of our files, it'll complain. So let's just quickly actually have a look at how that'll work. Um, first, let's make sure we understand this lint task. So lint uh, just has one um, target um, or directive here, uh, files, <clears throat> and it's going to lint the grunt file itself. Well, let's not do that. We don't need to do that. And we don't have any tests, so let's just narrow it down to this file, this uh, one here. So this is going to say all the files in the lib directory that are JS files. So we don't have that directory yet, so let's make directory lib. And let's, um, let's actually make a lib A, a lib B, 
and a libc. And then we'll echo um, window. Well, actually, let's just go in there. It'll be easier this time to just go in there and edit in the file. Let's say um, window.alert. Hi from AJS. And let's also do something like var foo equals um, one, two, three, or ABC, and then say if foo equals, notice the, the two equal signs, ABC, console log, no, you are not crazy. Okay. And then we'll close that out. So that's valid JavaScript in there, but we're using the double equals. If we um, uh, let's let's do this. Let's copy our or uh, let's see. Let's cat our lib a js and let's actually write our lib b js with that in it and then do the same for our lib c. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. And I'm just going to have a look real quick. Uh, let's just take all this out and just say hi from B. And then we'll open up C. And I'm just doing this because I want to simulate having you know multiple libraries. And I'm going to kind of reconfigure our grunt file in a second here. So go back into our grunt file. So this will pick up all of those files and lint them with this task. So let's just do that now, grunt lint. And we'll see that in lib a, h-i-s, we expect triple equals and in fact saw double equals, right? Um, and we also see console is not defined. So console's uh, global on the window. And we know that's going to work as expected. So we can do a couple of things to avoid that warning, um, we should probably abide by this. But per, say we have some sort of good reason um, not to do, you know, not to use triple equals everywhere, and we want to turn that off. I'm just going to comment it out for now and run grunt lint again. And now we're down to just the one, uh, the one error. Excuse me. So. Uh, console is not defined. We definitely want to be able to use console. So what we can do is go down here to this globals property and say console true. And now, uh, now we'll be able to lint this file successfully. Okay. So um, maybe you want to put jQuery or dollar sign or underscore or backbone or something like that uh, in globals as well, depending on your project. So now the other thing, um, if we look at this directory structure, you can see we've got a lib directory with uh, presumably an A, B, and C library, right? That's what we're pretending here. So when I ran when I run grunt lint, I'm actually um, linting all the files under lib. So I'm getting all three of them. But let's say these are large files and I want to lint them separately. Well, I can add to this uh, to this lint task up here. So right now I have a files target. Um, so this is the lint task. Remember we have tasks and targets. I could create an A and point this to lib A and I'll um, all JavaScript files or all subdirectories of A and all JavaScript files. And then I could do B and C as well. I'm just going to go in here. B, C. That should work. And always be wary of the trailing commas. And now, I um, still got this on my screen. As you recall, you can have a simple. Uh, lint task where it we're running grunt lint 
would run these guys and that'll continue to work that way although actually looking at this I'm seeing that I again forgot to put a comma here so running grunt lint will run this task which would result in running a b and c but now if I ran grunt lint colon a I would just lint this one library so we might want to have that option so let's see how that works grunt lint is going to lint all three right you can see that lint c b and a okay but i can also choose to say grunt lint of a and now i'm only linting the one project 